Damon, first of all, congratulations. And I know that this week has probably been the hardest fight week of your life, having lost your brother Bradley, just 37 years old. I know you told me yesterday it probably hadn't hit you quite yet. But you come out here and you get your fourth straight victory to pay tribute to him. That has to feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels feels really good to just, you know, top the week off just because it's been a rough camp. You know, I had a, some injuries I was dealing with the whole camp. And then to come through like that at the end and, you know, after – Finding that out and come through and get a big win is is nice and definitely is four four or five win streaks not easy in the UFC for sure. But I know you've got see your family here, mothers here. Uh, we'll we'll get you to them to give them a hug soon. You made them smile here tonight. I want you to know that. In terms of the fight, uh, it was beautifully timed, up kick straight up the middle. You you were you and I were talking here off camera just a moment ago. You noticed some tendencies that he had. Talk us through what you saw. Yeah, he uh, he comes in real heavy on his lead foot when he when he kind of faints. Like he comes down low and his hands go wide, and he because because he's a really good wrestler, so he likes to like snatch up the legs and snatch up the body when he can. So when he was level changing, I could see his elbows coming apart, and so I knew that either the knee was going to be there or the front kick would land on his body or his head. And you know we were just talking about it in the back. We were kind of drilling the same game plan where you know he's heavy faints, heavy movement, and I'm trapping him with his movement and then throwing the you know center line shots and then getting off center line myself and um you know it just worked out great it's, it doesn't happen all uh, very often so it's it's nice to have something come through like that where it's an easy fight it's been a rough week for sure most definitely you also mentioned the injuries the the torn pec how long have you had that and and what is the recovery you're going to take some time uh, I mean, I'm not going to say I've kind of learned to train with it. So uh, from, you know, as far as like time, you know, I'll kind of be back in the gym next week um, after everything settles down. But, uh, you know, I feel great. I feel good. Like I felt 100 percent going into the fight. I knew I did injure it for sure because I had some really bad bruising for about a month after it happened. So I know that there was definitely some kind of tear. I don't know how bad it was, but, um, you know, the whole camp I was doing with that. So I had I had to have my uh, one of my teammates, Abdul, come in and train in the morning or train at night and train at different times. So I couldn't do the normal practice. And, and I knew this is going to be such a tough opponent. So we were really game planning as far as strategy goes. Like we were really trying to narrow down like a striking game plan because he is a, such a good wrestler. And I didn't want to like tease this and like hurt it before the fight. So we didn't wrestle the whole camp. So it was kind of hard to, you know, take this fight and have confidence. So the striking was there and it turned out great. And, you know, but definitely, you know, teammates helped me out a lot. You didn't need a lot of wrestling in this one. You finished it off with some pretty powerful shots. I know there's some great names up there in the top 15. Four straight for, sure. for you. Congratulations. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.